polygons. Hello kids. Today, let us learn more about polygons. Let's start. We know that a polygon is a closed geometrical figure bounded by three or more line segments. Now, let us look at some of the polygons. A triangle is a three-sided polygon. A quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon. A pentagon has five sides. A hexagon has six sides. A seven-sided polygon is called a septagon. An eight-sided polygon is called an octagon. A nine-sided polygon is called a nonagon. And a ten-sided polygon is called a decagon. Now, if we have to find out the sum of the angles of a polygon, what do we do? This is the formula to find that. Sum of the angles of a polygon is equal to number of triangles into which the figure is divided multiplied by 180 degrees. Now, to get the number of triangles the figure can be divided into, we subtract 2 from the number of sides of the given figure. Let us take an example of a quadrilateral to understand it in a better way. A quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon. Therefore, four sides minus two is equal to two triangles. Therefore, the sum of the angles of a quadrilateral is equal to two into 180 degrees. That is equal to 360 degrees. Let us find out the sum of the angles of a few polygons. To find out the sum of the angles of polygons, we need to find out the number of triangles it can be divided into and then use the formula to find the sum of the angles of polygons. If the given figure is a hexagon, the number of triangles it can be divided into is 6 sides minus 2 is equal to 4. Therefore, the sum of its angles is 4 into 180 degrees is equal to 720 degrees. Next, let us look at a nonagon. Number of triangles it can be divided into is equal to 7. Therefore, the sum of its angles is 1260 degrees. Wasn't it fun learning about the polygons? Similarly, you can find the sum of angles of the other polygons too.